everyone, and thank you for joining us for this weekend edition of Cronkite News Watch. I'm Jackie Denker. And I'm Lindsay Kronforst. And we're here at ASU's Phoenix downtown campus where everything's being set up for homecoming events. And it's actually Halloween weekend as well, and everyone enjoys a good ghost story, especially during Halloween. But what happens when it actually comes to life? And Lindsay Riser takes us inside Chandler High School, a building that's as old as Arizona, where she discovers that there's more than meets the eye. Some students can't wait to leave school, but there's one presence at Chandler High that won't leave. There is a spirit at Chandler High School. The infamous Chandler High ghost roams the hallways of the English building. He's always around, and, um, and mostly on this floor. Curtis Huckstra has been a custodian at the school since 1994 and says he's had about five or six friendly encounters with the ghost. The person that I've seen has looked a lot like him. Bye, bye. Sally Pearson has also had plenty of chances to experience the paranormal in her 26-year career at the school. I was in the faculty restroom and I just had a sense that someone else was in there. There was no one there. I just felt that, oh, I think it's the ghost. Diane Griffith, an English teacher that also works in the building, says the only time she's experienced the unexplainable was when she was a student at the school. An apparition came in, kind of paused in the middle of the auditorium, looked at us, and then went out the other side. Students used to host ghost walks around Halloween where participants would tour the halls at night, but the school's administration has since canceled the event. But that doesn't stop students from talking. The stories are that when the English building starts to squeak, it's the ghost. Still, not everyone's a believer. I've been here on this campus for 15 years. I have never seen the ghost. But there are plenty that have, and this is one ghost story that isn't about to die. In Chandler, Lindsay Reiser, Cronkite News. Huckstra also said that the school allowed a group of chaperone students to stay overnight with cameras. Oddly enough, the pictures didn't turn out clearly and the audio renderings were muffled. 